What's happening, everyone? It's me, Kiki Solano, welcoming you to BYUSN right now. Tonight may be trunk or treat for BYU Athletics, but here on the show, we're having our own trick or treat fun with all the happenings of BYU sports. And let's do it with one of our very own, Uriah Leotawa. Lopa, with Halloween coming up, we've got spooky season upon us. Our questions today, we're going to do a little trick or treat game. Trick, you're not about it, you don't like it, treat, you do. You ready? Yeah. Okay. Trick or treat, dressing up for Halloween. Treat, let's go. Treat? I got I got my costume ready. What are you dressing yeah, up Yeah, I'm as? ready to go already. Um, An anime character. I knew it so, was going to be anime. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, some anime character. Hopefully somebody will know it. Um, but if they don't, I'm still going to look fly. So that's all that matters. Absolutely, absolutely. Okay, what about scary movies? Oh, it depends on the movie, eh? Hey. I'll say treat unless it's about demons, you know? I believe in, like, bad spirits. Those things are real. So, like, uh, if there's demons in it, that's a, that's a trick. But anything else, that's a treat. So, yeah. Good answer. Okay, haunted houses, trick or treat. Treat. Let's go. I love. I love haunted houses. I didn't realize how big haunted houses were until I came to Utah, and like, it used to scare me. But like, I'm taller than most of them, so it doesn't <laughs> scare me no more. There's actually a funny story. Like three years ago, we went as a position group. I don't know if you remember Bracken El Bakery. Yep. Like we went through, and somebody tried to scare Bracken, and Bracken punched her in the face. Like legit punched her in the face and they turned on all the lights and they kicked us out but yeah <laughs> miss bracken <laughs> that's a good story yeah. okay we will remember that one all right trick or treat having your teammates as your roommates oh that's a trick don't ever do it not nah, joking I, I love my roommates it's a treat for sure Okay, and hopefully they're not punching people in haunted houses. We'll leave that to Bracken on back. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> All right, awesome. Thanks so much, Lopa. All right, I had fun with that. Maybe we should have our own go at it. Trick or treat, BYUSN right now edition. Let's start with BYU football versus Virginia on Saturday. Having Bronco Mendenhall back at Lavelle Edwards Stadium. I'm with Cougar Nation on this one. This is a treat. We're all grateful for some of the great things Bronco did as head coach here at BYU. In fact, this is probably the only game we don't want Bronco to win. Okay, I've included number 25 BYU football, but they're not the only team ranked here on campus. Guys, we have seven teams in the top 25. This is obviously a treat, you guys. It's such a good time to be a BYU fan. I love it. Speaking of some of our ranked teams, let's look at a highlight from one of them. Number 11, BYU Women's Soccer posted this goal by Michaela Coolahan. The caption, that was easy. Okay, this is actually a trick because I know for a fact that is not as easy as Kayla makes it seem. She's just that good. Mad respect. And finally, it's time for my favorite treat of the day. This one is coming from Noah Reeve, a 10-year-old two-time brain cancer survivor. This hero had the chance to meet his hero, Tom Brady, over the weekend. What a great moment for Noah. To add to the story, Noah's a huge BYU fan, and he even made an appearance on BYU Sports Nation today. It just made me feel better. Like, football was kind of the thing that got me through cancer. Like, I'd always watch it, and like, and during played. like, yeah. I played flag football during game. Every, you know, Noah would go up, do his treatments, and then be like, hey, as soon as we get out of here, I might need to always ask, am I going to practice, am I going to my game? And he would literally go from treatment to the field. My producer and I came into Studio B and had the chance to meet Noah today. You guys, I'm not kidding when I say, Noah is as strong as they come, I am so grateful that I got to meet him and that we have examples of strength from a 10 year old kid like Noah. He's the best, truly my hero. Thanks for hanging out with me on BYUSN right now. Go give us the follow. Thanks again, Noah.